today we're in Yosemite National Park and hopefully we're gonna see Yosemite's famous firefall together. Come join me. The first popular firefall here in Yosemite originated at Glacier Point, not the current Horsetail Fall location, in the 1870s before Yosemite was even a national park. The owner of the Glacier Point Mountain House Hotel would build nightly campfires at the edge of Glacier Point then put it out by kicking the burning embers over the edge of the 3,200 foot cliff, creating a firefall for the valley below to enjoy. Now this spectacle quickly gained popularity and continued until 1968, when the National Park Service finally put a permanent end to this very unnatural nightly show. In the 1970s, wilderness photographer Galen Rule was credited with taking the first known photo of Horsetail Falls natural firefall, which happens when the sunset light reflects off Horsetail Fall at a specific angle, creating the bright orange and red colors. It's important to check the NPS website for up-to-date specifics, but currently you can park in the Yosemite Falls parking lot area by the Yosemite Valley Lodge, and then you have to hike about a mile and a half to reach the designated viewing spots by the picnic area. Enjoying Firefall in person takes a bit of a commitment. Currently, park rangers restrict access to certain areas in the valley, as well as parking spots, to help manage the crowds and to help protect Yosemite Valley's ecosystem. If you're a photographer, you might want to arrive several hours early to snag a close-up spot. Then it's just a waiting game, hoping the conditions line up just right to enjoy the show and staying warm in the meantime. <laughs> natural phenomenon for a week or two every February and even then there's no guarantee because the temperature, precipitation, light and air quality all have to line up just right in a specific time period right before dusk. This modern Yosemite firefall has become even more popular than the original with thousands flocking here every February to try and catch a glimpse of the magical light show. Well, we're just hitting the tail end and I think we're going to get a firefall, at least a firewall. If you have the time, there are plenty of spots to capture your perfect shot of the famous I do 
think that one of the things that makes Firefall so special is there's no guarantee. We're trying three separate nights this year. First night we got it, second night we were skunked, and tonight I'm feeling pretty good. to take one of the recommended trails to see the firefall. Consider wearing proper footwear, potentially snow cleats, and bringing your hiking poles for the journey. Whatever the conditions, experiencing the thrill of Yosemite's firefall is wonderful. But please do your own research, plan ahead, and follow the ranger's advice and guidelines to keep this a safe and memorable experience for generations to come. And don't forget your headlamp or high power flashlight for hiking back in the dark. Thanks for joining me here in Yosemite for Firefall. And for more information, see my full blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.